Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to download some recorded footage that you want to view on maybe your computer or your laptop. Now, the first thing you want to do is go into the main menu. It may ask you firstly for your password, put in your password and over here we have the backup option. So I'm going to click backup. Now when I go to the backup option, it's immediately showing me there's something connected to the USB. Now in this case, it's showing me that there's a USB drive connected and I'll now show you that on the NVR. Now at the back of this NVR, there's a USB port. There's also a USB port on the front. You can use either one of these USB ports. According to the manual, you can also connect an external hard drive and connect that to the USB port. I have had some trouble with the larger hard drives when I connect it to the USB port. So I recommend just using a thumb drive if you've got one. I take my thumb drive, it can be formatted in FAT32, NTFS, both work. I then insert it into the USB port. Now you may have noticed there's this pop-up window. So you can access the backup via two methods. You can either go via the menu or you can put your thumb drive in and it will display this pop-up window and then you can say file backup. So if you went via the backup menu, you'll come to this screen or if you put the thumb drive in, you'll get the pop-up window. So over here I've got the pop-up window and I'll just show you what it does. If I go to file backup, it's going to take me to that same backup screen. Now what it's showing me is I've got 114.2 gigs free. So if you want to, you can even format the drive. So just be careful here because it's very easy to suddenly format your drive that you've just plugged into the NVR. Now it's even asking you which format you want to do. Now my drive is already formatted. I don't want to format it. Now what you can do is determine where you want to download your recorded files to, which means you can set a folder. So if I say browse, Immediately it interrogates the folders that are already present or the files that are already present on this drive. Now in this case there are some files already here. So if you wanted to you could make a new folder and you could for example just call this DAWA Downloads. So what I've done is I've now made a new folder on this thumb drive. If you don't need to do this, you can just download directly to the drive and it will put it in the root directory. But in my case, I want to have all the files put in a folder. So I'm just going to click here on the DAWA downloads. So now we can see that it's going to download the files onto this USB drive. I have a lot of space available. And where is it going to put it? In the folder called DAWA downloads. Right, so I can say OK. Right, once you've set the path, now you must choose the channel which you are wanting to get the footage from. For example, was it channel 1's footage, camera 2's footage, etc. So in this case, I'm going to download from channel 2's footage. And now it's asking me the type. Was I specifically looking for the motion detection, the alarm and motion detection, general, IVS, pictures. So you must choose what you want here. I'm just going to leave this on all so it will interrogate all the footage on the date that I choose. Now I don't want today's footage, I'm looking for backdated footage. I'm choosing the 8th of July 2021. Now your date format may be different because this is often region specific. And I'm just going to set the end date to also the 8th of July. Now you can set the time to be a bit narrower so you don't get too much footage. But in my case, I'm just gonna say search. And over here, all the footage that was recorded on this day is now displayed here. In the list. Now if you want to quickly see some of that footage you can even press play here and it will take you to that footage. For example here it's actually showing me some of the footage. So if you quickly want to see the files before you download them then you can press the play button. Now if you want to download all of the footage all you do is you say one key backup. What it's going to do is it's just going to download all of this. If you don't want that and you want specific files then you can select them as follows and then you say backup. Now it's automatically going to back them up onto the drive and it's going to choose the format of DAV. Now the reason why it's on DAV is that if you would like to use the little Smart Play app that will be automatically installed on your thumb drive, the DAV format is better. If you don't want that and you just want MP4 files which you can then manipulate and watch and share with other people, then just make sure you've chosen the file format MP4. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to download the MP4 files as well and then I'll show you the difference between the MP4 files and the DAV files in terms of interrogating the footage once it's been downloaded. 
So I'm just going to download that as well. Now, while this is downloading, I never mentioned the mainstream versus the substream. If you want the lower resolution stream, you can select substream. In my case, I'm just using the mainstream. Right, all the files are now downloaded. You can unplug your thumb drive and then now go and interrogate it on your computer. Right, here is the root of my thumb drive and there's the folder, Dawa Downloads. And there are the files, the DAV files. I just downloaded a few. And then I also downloaded the same files, but in the MP4 format. What's nice about the MP4 format is that you can share it and view it directly using many different apps. Right, and the MP4 format can be viewed using many different apps. And there you can see, I can see the footage. Now the DAV format provides you with one additional feature. Now when you put the thumb drive into the NVR, it automatically installs this little app called Smart Player. And if I double click on it, it's already showing me the files which are in the same directory as the Smart Player. Now the purpose of the Smart Player is it's giving you the option of putting those files in order. So I'll just demonstrate what I mean. If I click over here and I zoom into the timeline, it's automatically put the files in the order that they would have been on the NVR if you were viewing it on the NVR. So that's a nice feature. If you do want to download using the DAV format, then it will automatically align it in your timeline over here. This means that the DAV files provide you additional compatibility with the smart player. However, the MP4 files still work with the smart player, it's just it won't put it nicely in the timeline for you. For example, now I've deleted the DAV files and I've only got the MP4 files. If I launch the smart player, here are the files just put in the list, which means that if I want to view any of these files, I have to double click on it and then I just have to view it normally. So I'll just have to double click on each file as I want to view them. It won't put it in the timeline for me. Right, just some advice. If you have many, many files here and the size is quite large, the smart player takes quite a bit of time to cache in all those files in order to put all the DAV files in the timeline. Right, so there I've shown how to download the files and interrogate the footage. Thanks for watching and cheers.